Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use count formula in Excel. There are five count functions in Excel count, count a, count blank, count if and count ifs. In this video I will cover three of these functions. Let me first talk about the count function. This would count the number of cells that have a number in it. So if I type count and I hit tab to auto complete the function you can see that it can take a number of arguments value 1 value 2 and if I continue to type then it would be value through 3 4 5 and so on what this does is it would count those values that are a number so in this case if I type 1 comma 2 comma 3 and I hit control enter then this gives me 3 because there are 3 numbers here if I remove this first number with an alphabet and I hit control enter then this gives 2 because there are only 2 numbers and 1 is a non-number. Instead of typing it manually, you can also select a range. So here I select A2 to A7 and I hit Control Enter. Now this gives me 3. The reason is that there are only 3 cells that have a number in it. A2, this has a number 1, this has number 2, this is blank so this is not counted. A5 has the text hello in it so this is not counted a6 has an error, a division error, so again this is not counted and a7 has a date but this is counted because Excel stores dates and times as serial numbers so this is again a number and hence this gives 3. Now let me talk about count a function I type count a and I hit tab again this can take multiple arguments and this function would give you the number of cells that are non-empty so let me show you by selecting A2 to A7 and I close the parenthesis and I hit control enter and this gives me 5 let me check the first one this is non-empty the third one this is uh, A3 this is non-empty the fourth one is empty so this is not counted so there are two that have been counted the third one this is again non empty so this is counted this is counted and this is counted so in these six cells there is only one which is empty and the rest five are non empty cells and hence they are counted the last one is count blank and as the name suggests this would count blank cells and you can see as compared to the above two count functions this one only takes a range because you cannot type a blank value inside uh, a function so there could only be a range here now when I select this entire range A2 to A7 and I close the parenthesis and I hit control enter this gives 1 because there is only one cell that is blank which is A4 rest all cells have something or the other within it now let me also show you something very interesting as of now this cell A4 this is empty now what I'll do is I would type equal to double quotes without anything which means I'm inserting blank into this and notice that these values count a as of nine uh, as of now is five and count blank is one now when I hit enter this becomes six and this still remains one the reason this becomes six is because now this do not consider this cell as empty this is still blank but it is not empty so you can see count blank is returning 1 it is counting it as rightly blank but count A returns 6 because now it considers this cell filled because there is this double quotes within it it does not have anything it's a null character but still it is not empty so be cautious when you use count A you may see a cell you may think this is empty but it might not be empty so this is how count function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.